Hi Sagittarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of May 27th to June 2nd, 2024. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Sagittarius, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video. Sorry, I will put a link below the video that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be re reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your energy, spirit angels and guides. Please show me the energy of Sagittarius in regards to love for this week. Thank you, spirit. Okay. Here we go. What's the energy of Sagittarius in regards to love for this week? So we have the Nine of Swords showing up for you. We also have here Death card in the reverse. Also the Seven of Swords. Bottom of the deck, Six of Wands and Justice in reverse with the Three of Pentacles and also the Knight of Wands, okay. Hmm. Give me a second here. So Sagittarius, this feels like um, it feels like someone's like stressing out over you seemingly moving on with your life focused on yourself. I feel like this is your energy with the six of wands. Um, I feel like you're paying a lot of attention to yourself and to your goals and the things that you want to accomplish for yourself in your life. Um, this could be you being very focused on your work, your career, your finances. You're looking ahead. Instead of looking backwards, you're looking ahead. And it kind of looks like someone feels left out in the cold by you. I want to see what, what your energy is doing here, though. Tell me about the Six of Wands, Spirit. Clarify the Six of Wands. It's kind of like you're not, you're not chasing this person. You're not chasing this relationship. You're chasing your goals. You're chasing your dreams. You're focused on yourself. Tell me about the Six of Wands. So we have the Nine of Swords, interesting. We also have the Sun with the Nine of Wands, okay, okay. And the Three of Pentacles, I see, okay. Yeah, this person, whoever it is that you are um, dealing with or whoever it is that you were dealing with, I feel like they really want to work things out with you with the Three of Pentacles, but they feel they feel like they've lost their opportunity with the Nine of Wands and the Sun. They feel like they've lost their opportunity to fix things with you, to make things right with you, and to recover their relationship with you or connection with you. They feel like they ran out of time or they're running out of time. Because the way they're viewing you is as someone who is getting a lot of recognition for some of you. Um, you're climbing up the ladder of success. You, you have a lot going for yourself. You're being very proactive towards your own goals. That's how they're viewing you. In other words, they're viewing you as someone who's not paying attention to them, 
who doesn't seem bothered by, by them, who doesn't seem worried about them or concerned or, you know, interested in, in chasing them or reaching out to them. They look at you like, like you're living your best life and you're leveling up and you're gaining strength and also self-confidence. You're gaining a lot of self-confidence and that's not good for them. That's not good for them because that means that you are becoming less and less interested in them to the point where you're just completely detaching. Uh, mentally, emotionally, physically, you're, you're detaching. This is how they're viewing you, but let me just verify your feelings. Yeah, Spirit, um, what are Sagittarius's feelings for whoever it is that they're connecting to or dealing with? Or have been dealing with? How does, such a, how does Sagittarius feel? So we have the chariot in reverse in your feelings. We also have the four of cups. King of pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. Four of cups, king of pentacles in reverse. Mm. King of Wands, Judgment, and the Moon. Well, I mean, it's not exactly what they think it is. I mean, I do feel like you are trying to, like, um, overcome... <clears throat> overcome um, your hurt and your disappointment over this person and this relationship with this person. Um, I do feel like you are very unhappy with what you've been experiencing in this relationship. And I do feel like you're making it a priority to To focus on yourself and to not um, return back to this person. But you're definitely um, not uncaring. I guess is what I want to say. <clears throat> Sorry. You're not uncaring. It, I don't see you in, the, in, an ener in an energy of I don't care. I feel like you do care. You care a lot, actually. So it's not the way they view it, as if you are, you know, a cold person who doesn't give a damn about them, who could care less about them, or could care less about the relationship that you have with them or you had with them. Um, no, no. You do care. Um, it's just that you're very hurt. You're very um, wounded. You're very disappointed. Um, and you don't want to really show or express any feelings because you feel like this is someone who you can't trust. And this is someone who might take your emotions and feelings for them and turn it against you. So you're more in this energy of, I'm not even going to like give this my attention out of sight, out of mind. I'm going to do me and focus on me and, you know, try my best to just detach from this whole situation.
but you are very hurt and disappointed because you don't feel like you you feel like you didn't deserve what this person put you through you didn't deserve it and you feel like they were very wrong they were very wrong to do what they did it was very wrong of them okay so that's your energy here. Let's move on to your person now and see what's going on on their side of the reading for the week. Let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Sagittarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week, please. Two shuffles. Okay. <clears throat> Both of you are hurt, by the way. Both of you feel hurt. There's a mutual energy of feeling hurt in this relationship. All right, so in this person's energy towards you, Sagittarius, for the week, we do have the death card in the reverse. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me more about their energy towards Sagittarius. We also have the Hermit card. We also have here the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. Three of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Justice in Reverse, and the Three of Swords. Okay. So I, I am seeing that this person, um, interesting, okay. So I am seeing that this person has tried to um, move on and accept the, the ending of this relationship between the two of you. They've tried to like keep themselves busy with their work, their career their finances, they've been trying to like go out and, you know, hang out with people, socialize, um, you know, form new connections, entertain um, other relationships or, you know, just other options um, or just, you know, go out with family or friends or spend time with family and friends. So I feel like they've tried uh, multiple things uh, various things to to let go of um, this relationship with you and just simply move on. Now we do have the death card in reverse. So the thing is that I feel like even though this person has made attempts, um, I don't see that they've actually made any progress in regards to uh, disconnecting and detaching from you, emotionally speaking. Yeah, they, they try to heal themselves. They did try to heal themselves. But I do see this person falling into this energy of maybe I should just reach out to Sagittarius. Maybe I should just break my silence or break the silence between us, you know, because it just kind of looks like they just can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop wondering about you. Um, it's almost like this person feels like they need closure at the very least because nothing is really working out in regards to them being able to move on from you and and engage in other connections and or relationships. Yeah. So I do see them in this energy of, well, maybe I should just do something here. Let me clarify the um, hermit. Tell me about the hermit in reverse spirit. All 
Oh, okay. King of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, tell me about the Six of Swords. And the Star in the reverse. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's just, it's bothering them. Whatever it is that happened between the two of you that caused a, a breakup or a separation, it's really bothering them. It's really weighing heavy on them. And I feel like they just really want to like have a conversation with you because they also have some questions is what I'm getting. I feel like this person has some questions that they want to ask you. It's almost like they're seeking closure, but you know what they really want deep down inside is for things to be back to things to go back be, to how it used to be between the two of you, the relationship to go back to how it used to be when things were good between the two of you. You know? Okay. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to stop the reading right here, and I'm going to continue now in the extended reading. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at this person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you for this week? What actions will they take towards you moving forward? And what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.